All right, y'all already know. So FYB J Main uh, has been going on this pushing peace agenda for quite some time now. J Main was a comedian. I, I know at one point he was dissing Dirk, and then he put the fake tattoos on. And I know he from the he from the other side. What sixty third St. Lawrence and all of that. But um, you know, lately he's been pushing peace, and you know his cereal, the Whoop cereal, and um, he ended up going to O Block. Now, uh, as he's there, basically. Gleesh and I think E Dog, as y'all can see in the thumbnail as well, you know, they were, you could tell they weren't really feeling them. Then E Dog started getting mad and, um, you know, the interview got out of control. J May ended up leaving the, uh, the complex. And y'all probably be wondering why Duck and Vine's in the picture, but I'm, I'm gonna get to that in a minute. So J May ends up leaving and all of that. Now, now, let me say this while he did leave and while E Dog wasn't trying to hear that, salute the E Dog for not. Him and Gleesh for not trying to put their hands on Jay Main, uh, uh, Jay Main immediately. You can tell that you know that war has affected all of them, you know. And um, as y'all see, Duck and Vine, these were two talented young men that end up dying. Now Vine was more popular than Duck, but at the end of the day, they both gone, and all their friends is gone. A lot of their friends is either gone in jail. Y'all already know how the Oblock Six is. I know Butter locked up again. And none of this mess is worth it. This is what I think should have happened. If J Main is really pushing peace, then he should have extended that branch out to E Dog and Gleesh and all those people in the old block and had them meet up in a neutral location, maybe even a neutral city like in Atlanta or LA or a New York or Indianapolis, Indiana, somewhere where they could have aired their differences out. But I do understand that he wants to go to the block to push for peace for the kids because. Look, in the thumbnail, all you see is black men and we in, in, in my thumbnail and the majority of the people who are being affected are brothers who are dying for no reason. Young men are being unalived at a high rate and young too. Vaughn and Duck were young. They were 26 years old. 26, man, you a baby. You, you, you haven't even thought life. You haven't even, you barely started life. Even Dirk, right? Dirk started pushing peace and some people think it was a gimmick, but you realize, man, that, that all of us are we were trained with this sickness that that uh that was pumped onto us all you hear growing up is unalive in a negro sliding on the negro the negro is my ops the negro is my enemy but as you get older man and you lose so many different people it's like w what are we beefing over and especially when you really sum it down a lot of times it'd be it'd be it'd be over girls girls in high school and then it just keeps escalating and keeps escalating but I'm all for pushing peace, man. Listen, I have a nephew of mine passed away. He was 23 years old and he passed away over a tire leak. And the, and, and the dude who did it was a friend of mine growing up, a childhood friend of mine. And he ended up, he ended up getting 30 years mandatory. So his life is gone. My nephew life is gone. I didn't have friends, man. I had one dude, he got out of jail. He wasn't even out of jail uh, a couple of hours, man, and he was unalive, you know? And it, it just, it, it makes no sense. And it, it's just sense, senseless deletions after deletions after deletions. And we are stronger together than apart. Could you imagine that if Duck and Vine were to actually make music like how they would have 30, 40 years ago? You know how neighborhoods was? We have to stick together. We are stronger together than apart. And I'm all for pushing peace, but I understand why e you know, I feel in the way that they feeling because it's like, man, y'all made fun of, uh, you know, people. Listen, all these, man, they, all these brothers act tough. I guarantee you all of them have cried. All of them are trauma. They normal through some type of P PTSD. But at the end of the day, man, things have to be squashed for the youth, man. It had to be squashed for the kids. So we got to figure out as, 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 you know, Negro men to come together, man, as one. But I, I like I said, I don't know. I hope Jay Main is serious about pushing peace. Dirk did. I know Dirk had put up like what photos of, of enemy at the United Center, United Center, which was his one of his biggest concerts, which I mean, he got hey, he got a whole nother battle going ahead with the feds. But I'm glad I will say this again. I'm glad that it didn't spiral out of control when J Main went there. So that lets you know that E Dog and them, why they don't necessarily fool with J Main, you know, they didn't, they didn't, it, it didn't, it didn't go out of hand because guess what? Six, seven years ago, he wouldn't have made it off of, out of O Block or Parkway Gardens, you know, home of Michelle Obama, which is a uh, uh, kind of crazy. You went from from uh, the first black woman 
as a uh, first black lady, as a wife to President Barack Obama from Parkway, to now we bragging about O Block and bragging about young brothers losing their lives, man. It's just, it's crazy. It's crazy. We're the only community out here that does stuff like this, man. And I don't understand it, but I'm all for pushing peace. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Do y'all think that Dirk and J Man and them they playing around, or y'all think they serious? How do y'all feel about him leaving O Block, man? Then, you know, let let me know below.